Hello everyone, Ryan here. This is Lawn Update 5. I'm gonna title this one, Not Everything is Perfect in the Lawn. It's been about 95 degrees here yesterday, and it's gonna be again today. And without much rain, you can kind of imagine what's happening to our lawns around here. Everything's starting to dry out quite a bit. So I'm going to show you a few things that I have going on and kind of a real world example of why it's important to mow the grass tall and I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. First you'll probably notice that I'm not wearing my typical Minnesota hat. Uh, I got this white Flyers hat. I used to be a Flyers fan. This is the only white hat that I own so I thought hey, it's too hot out to wear my typical black Vikings hat. This stems back from a time, a very dark time, when Minnesota had no hockey team. I used to be a Flyers fan for a little while and still got the hat, so might as well use it, right? Okay, let's go ahead and show you a few things going on. So first off here, let's just take a quick look at the drought stress that's starting. This is the area here between my deck and my shed where I'm usually pulling out the mowers. As you can see, I'm gonna be mowing here in a little bit. It's just starting, it's, it's not super bad yet. I have been attempting to water this back portion of the lawn. Actually, I did that this week, so you can see that's still looking pretty good, but I've got about 11,000 square feet of grass and it's nearly impossible to try to cover all of that when I don't have an in-ground irrigation system. So let's take a quick look at my side yard which I have not watered at all and kind of give you an idea of how quickly things are browning up around here. Okay, so this is the area over here that I have not watered at all. I'll show you, we'll walk through here a little bit. Kind of see if you get a general look at the top of the grass there's a little bit of green growth but overall if you look closer we are definitely starting to dry out look at the front yard still got some green growth here where the waters come off the roof most of the time other than that again we're starting to get dry i did water this a little bit this morning early in the morning here so let's look at the side. This is an area of the lawn that I have not watered. You can see it's still growing, it's starting to get dry, but here's my real world example of mowing tall versus mowing short. Now, myself, I really like a low cut lawn, the look of it, but in general, we just see the results of not doing that. Here is probably cut at maybe two inches or so, and I'm at three and a half. So basically you can tell the difference between how brown it is right now and how green mine still is just because of the length. Okay, so just a couple other quick things. I've had some problems with red thread this year. Down in here, all that stuff that has kind of a pinkish look to it. Through some of my thinner sections of lawn here where I told you earlier in the year this is an area that never had as good of soil, basically I have some issue with red thread that happened last year and it's happening again this year. Now last year I didn't really do anything about it, I just kind of let it go and let it play itself out. And so far that's what I'm doing this year and with it drying out a little bit more here, it's probably going to be okay and I'm probably not going to pursue anything further. But this fall might be a time when, again, I'm going to look at overseeding this area with some updated varieties of bluegrass and some of the more disease resistant ones to see if we can just improve some of those problems. Overall, I'd like a greener color out here too than I have. So that is a tour of the lawn, a few tips for you as well on mowing tall and kind of the real world example of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and get to my favorite part which is mowing. I'll show you a little bit of that here at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching the videos. If you have any questions just leave a comment below and please subscribe. I'll talk to you later.